guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sir Matt, your virtual business teacher. So to those people nga wala pa na subscribe, please subscribe na na unsa. Subscribe. So for today's video, we will talk about the website that is very helpful when conducting a research or a thesis. So basically, I will teach you what website ang mas makatabang sa pagkandak sa research and how to use it. So, I personally love this website, Sky. Nakatabang gid siya sa kuha when I conducted my researches before. Also, other people are using this for their academic researches. So, kung naatay mga starter packs like uh, Papogi Starter Pack or Manguyab Starter Pack, kani kay Research Starter Pack. So, if you want to know this website, so don't skip and continue watching. First, the Google Scholar. It provides a simple way to broadly search for scholarly literatures. From one place, you can search across many disciplines and sources. Articles, theses, books, abstracts, and court opinions. So basically, kung nang problema ka o pangita o mga sources or related studies in your research paper, Google Scholar will be your best buddy. So go to your browser and type here uh, scholar.google.com Enter Okay, so put here the title or the topic you want to research on For example, your title is about organizational or organizational performance we have 3,000, 3 million, 600,000 results. So, there are many studies on it. So, we have recency of res references. We need uh, the latest one. So, usually, five years get a recency. So, we can put a custom range. So, we could put 2017 to 2021. Para ma-filter. So, ayan. 526,000 results na lang. So, dagan, pala po kaayo. So, yung mong study is naka-focus on organizational performance and uh, tag, leadership style. So, pwede po na ni siya i-advance search. So, click here, kanya three lines, and then advance search. So, we could put here, and leadership styles. And then, if you want uh, na may reference na exactly the same of your title, so mas specific man yun siya kaysa mag siya sa anywhere in the article, mas uh, direct yun siya bitaw nga uh, unsa mga pangitan kung, na, kung same of title, so you could do that. So click search. Okay. So you have 51 results here. So mas specific na siya. The mediating effect of innovative culture and organizational learning between leadership style at the third order of leadership performance in Malaysian assemblies. Pwede po siya. The leadership style's impact in learning organization and organizational innovation towards organic performance over manufacturing companies. Okay, very good. So here, kung naan na tayo mga results, if ever na ay PDF like here, na siya mga ingana sa kilid, Meaning, na siya full text. If ever, ingani lang siya, wala siya sa kilit niya. Meaning, abstract lang yung available. So, for example, kanya. Ito na i-click. So, click start download. And open. So, you could download that ayun, in a while. So, kanya, pwede po natin i-click. Okay, and automatic and download here. Impact. So, pwede na ito siya ma-view and pwede na po na ito siya ma-download. Okay? So, that's it for Google Scholar. E-R-I-C. ERIC. Education Resources Information Center. It is an online library of education research and information. It is sponsored by the Institute of Education Sciences, IES, of the United States Department of Education. Uh, it is another, just like Google Scholar, another search engine for sources 
and related studies. Okay, go to your browser and then type Eric at Ed at Oh, Eric of or sa mga name. So, just like Google Scholar, type uh, your app gusto kung ito ano related study. So, ito ang mga gusto na satisfaction. Search. Sising. So, nata ay 692 results. So, also, pwede na ito ma-filter ang publication date according sa recency na itong gusto last 5 years. So, ayan. Nata ay 79 results. So, pwede lagi ako na ito ni siya ma-download full text. Okay. Ayan. Talaga. Closing and delay means falling customer satisfaction. Okay. Oh. Yan. So, less than 2019 pa, oh. So, nice ni siyang reference kung gaspati mo about customer satisfaction. Okay. So, that's it for uh, eric.ed.gov uh, search engine. Third is Killbot. It is a paraphrasing and summarizing tool that helps millions of students and professionals cut their writing time by more than half using state-of-the-art artificial intelligence to rewrite any sentence, paragraph, or article. So I think many of the millennials today knew this. It is because na trending maguni siya sa TikTok and many are using this to paraphrase uh, sentences and paragraphs. How to use it? Okay, go to your browser and then type killbot here. Uh, killbot.com so, na mo sa killbot, na mo makita duha ka box. So, the left portion sa box, dali na ito, i-write itong gusto i-paraphrase na sentence or article. Dali pa na ito i-paste. So, since gusto man mag-paraphrase, magpata sa web o kampo article. So, what is love? Love, mong gilid ba? Okay, this article is from Kendra Cherry. So again, reminders to everyone, if you want to paraphrase something, an article from a specific author, so please, please don't forget to cite them. Okay, bisan o ato na siyang paraphrase still ang ideas na came from the author. So, uh, he or she needs the credit, manang gilijod. Okay, yan ang idea. Okay, kung dili na to siya cite we are done for plagiarism. So, don't forget to cite the author, ha? Okay. So, example, gusto na ito ni i-paraphrase kaning first paragraph. So, ito na i-copy. And then, control C. And then, back to kill button. And then, control V. Ito siya ang i-paste. Oh! So, nakita na ito, nag-read ang characters. Kaportion kay... 414 to 400 characters lang ang pwede. So, naalin na kapag ng sign up for 7 character, 700 characters. Okay. So, we need to sign up. So, kung mag-sign up sa Killbot, free na na siya. So, dalita log in. And then, continue with Facebook. Okay. So, ato siyang i-bind. Okay. So, nanata. So, nakita na ito. 700 characters na. So, we could paraphrase the whole paragraph na. So, paraphrase. So, processing na rin siya. Let's wait. So, napasya yung mga other kung ano. Kung gusto mo sa mode niya standard or fluent, fluency, Excuse me, make a mistake, creative, oh. Okay, so we choose standard. So, okay, so if nanay, uh, kuan, uh, nanay sulod ang right nga box, so muna na rin siyang paraphrased nga article. So again, ato sa mga i-double check, eh, basi na siya yung word na paraphrase or na change, which is not, uh, tugma or di siya sakto sa atong sentence. So ato siya i-double check. So, once nga ato nakita nga okay na, so click din ato ni copy the full text. And then, pag-copy na ito full text, buhidin na din ato delete. So, ito siya mga paste sa 
at yung Word document kung asa na ito siya gusto ibotang. So, if ever, um, magtinapulan ng yung ito, gusto ito nga, Sir, di may gusto nga ba i-paragraph ang pag-killbot? So, gusto niyo tanan yun nga whole, kung ano yun whole essay yun or whole nga article yun yung pwede lang paragraph. So, get premium. So, of course, mabayad na yun ay bayad. So, that's it for Killbot. Fourth is the Rousoff Sample Calculator. So, it is basically a software that primarily calculates or generates the sample size of research or survey. So, napayuban ka ron mga researchers nagdo sila to doing manual, like using this formula. But now, uh, Rousoff Sample Calculator, just one click lang, maka-generate na siya sample size. Go to your browser and then type here Rousoff Calculator. Click here. So, for example, uh, you are studying the your respondents, kay uh, people uh, in your barangay. Example, ang uh, barangay nyo, barangay population will be example ang five thousand six hundred seventy eight. For example, so margin of error five percent. Confidence of 95%. So, automatically, kanyang siya, your recommended sample size is 360. So, this is the time, uh, trended out of 5,678, uh, 360 in yung uh, tagahan ng survey question. So, that's it for the Rousoff Calculator. Lastly, the site fast. It is an easy-to-use web tool for creating citations. Students can utilize it to generate citations in different formats. APA, 7th edition, 6th edition, uh, MLA, 7th edition, or Chicago, 16th edition, and many more. Okay. Okay, go to your browser and type here sitefast.com. You will be directed to the citation generator. So, if you want to cite an uh, article from a web page, go to the web page and then cop just copy this, the URL. So, copy, control C, and then control V, paste, search. Searching, no check information below if not standard, that is okay. Okay na, then save citation. Automatically, it will generate your first uh, reference. Dara, so mo siya isa. Uh, you wish to cite another ano po, reference? Like, butang tao, online video from YouTube. So, enter URL. So, mo na ito napili, the real definition of love. So, the URL, copy, and then paste. Search. We cannot get titles already published for YouTube enter manually. So we need to enter it manually. So the producer or author, one who uploaded the video, the tomorrow, tomorrow's world. Let's see. V. Okay. It published. February 2020. February 20, 2020. Video title, The Real Definition of Love. Okay, and then save citation. So, nag automatically nag generate nag upon siya of citation APA format. Uh, gusto po ka mag-site ang journal. For journal, you will just enter the entered article title, author, or keywords. So, for example, mo niya itong journal, just copy this. Control C and Control V. Ito ito yung author, si Beverly Fair and James A. Russell. Okay, so sakto ni. And then save citation. 
Okay, so, na natin tulong ka citation. Kung ready na nato ni siya, i-copy-paste. So, click here. And then, tara, select all and copy. Pwede na ni mo na siya ma-paste sa imong Word, Word file. Okay, that's it for SiteFast. I do hope that you have learned something from this video. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be uploading more videos like this. Sa gulang yun na to bisaya kay para masabta nato. So see you in my next videos. Bye.